Hi everyone, welcome to our 12th edition from Club O. We're gonna take Did you, you on really a little trip today. so far? Yeah, 12. Wow, 12's a good number. 12's, 12's a dozen. It's a wonderful number. It's a dirty But dozen. we keep going. We keep going, we keep going. Uh, herzlich willkommen uh, auch an unsere deutschen Freunde hier in Club O. Heute ist unsere zwölfte Show und wir machen weiter so. Yeah, we'd like to welcome everybody from around the world, from Cuba, from the United States, from Europe, from uh, Africa, and of course Asia and the country of Georgia. Ivy hat eine lange Liste von uh, Ländern, aus denen Leute, Freunde uns zuschauen, angefangen von Kuba über Amerika, USA, Deutschland natürlich und bis nach Georgia. So last year we released an album, Edgar and I, we wrote all the songs and uh, we wrote all the music and we produced it, mixed it ourselves and uh, it's called Brooklyn Meets Bavaria. And last year, that sounds like we did that in and five minutes, <laughs> but we've been actually working on it for two years. For two years. Oh, maybe. It did, it took us two years. I, I went down to Mexico. You currently went on vacation. I, I went on vacation. <laughs> so we're going to take you guys on vacation. But before we do, I just want to let you know that this CD, Brooklyn Meets Bavaria, that we produced and released um, is available in the ho in the in the lobby after the show you can buy it or if you can't make it to the lobby or the line is too long because everyone's social distancing you can buy it on iTunes for 999 uh, Ivy und ich haben uh, vor einem Jahr eine CD gemacht alles orig uh, originale Lieder die wir selbst geschrieben haben um, diese CD Könnt ihr gerne kaufen. Draußen vor unserem Studio gibt es die Line, in der man sich anstellen kann. Falls diese äh, Schlange aber zu lang wird, könnt ihr das Ganze auch online bei uns bestellen. So the album, of course, was, was called Brooklyn Meets Bavaria, because I'm from Brooklyn and he's from Bavaria. Das Album heißt Brooklyn Meets Bavaria. Ivy ist von Brooklyn, ich bin von Bayern. Genau. And, and now we're calling our next release Brooklyn is stuck in Bavaria. This is the topic of today. Because, you know, Trump finally got his wall built. And like the Hotel California, you can check out, but you can never leave. So. And Ivy actually wanted to be on the plane yesterday, day before yesterday. Right. We were going to so be going back. she's still down. kind of flying, I'm but flying. only mentally. I got my passport. You got your passport? I'm ready. You ready? Okay, well, let's I take... I got a red one. You got That's red. much better. That's way better. <laughs> the blue one is worthless. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, you, you have a real problem <laughs> getting back home. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's take our audience on a plane oh. ride for vacation. Uh, one more second. Just okay. a, a short summary in German. So, das uh, um, die CD, Brooklyn meets Bavaria. I'm from Brooklyn, ich von... Bayern uh, könnten wir inzwischen etwas umbenennen, nämlich Brooklyn ist stuck in Bavaria. Das wäre vielleicht in Deutsch. Does that uh, translate? Is it translate. stuck? Stuck? Stuck, stuck in stuck. Bavaria? <laughs> yeah, I am so, stuck in Bavaria. Die, Ivy wollte in diese Woche nach USA zurückfliegen, aber aus verschiedenen Gründen uh, hat sie doch vorgezogen, lieber noch ein paar Monate hier zu bleiben. So, here we go. Let's have a little picnic in the sky. Thank you. 
Das war das Stück Picnic in the Sky, äh, der Anfang unseres heutigen Themas, nämlich eine musikalische Reise, nachdem es ja sonst relativ schwierig geworden ist, irgendwo hinzureisen. So let me tell you a little bit about that. First of all, I hope you all enjoyed the ride and the food and that nice sweet landing into Johannesburg. But I want to tell you a little bit about how I wrote that song, right? So I was I was flying to Mexico with my daughter Chelsea and uh you know, mommies bring out the food because we don't want to buy the food. It's very expensive on the plane. And I'm bringing out the, the cheese and the hummus and the carrot sticks and all that on the little tray. And she goes, Mom, Mom, it's like a picnic in the sky. Der Titel ist so entstanden, dass Ivy mit ihrer Tochter Chelsea äh, nach Mexiko geflogen ist und natürlich wie eine typische Mutter ganze Packen von Essen mitgebracht hat. Und dann im Flugzeug angefangen hat, das Essen auszupacken. Und die Tochter war völlig begeistert davon und hat gesagt, that's like a picnic in the sky. Das ist wie ein Picknick im Himmel. So, the next song I love because it's Edgar's musical journey. It's another kind of journey. It's a journey that he, it starts as classical music, and I'm not going to give it away, but it does take place in Bavaria, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that after we show the video. Uh, das nächste Stück habe ich geschrieben, uh, der Titel ist Bioline, ist im Kern in die Biografie, musikalischer Werdegang, also eine musikalische Zeitreise durch mein Leben mit drei verschiedenen Epochen, in denen ich verschiedene Musik gemacht habe. Und ich glaube, man kann schon erkennen, welche Art von Musik das war. So let's see how many different kinds of musical genres you can and, name. And try to guess what it is. And, and if you can't guess, uh, I can't help. Make it up. I, if you can. I can't help you. If you can't guess it, I can't. Oh, here's, a, here's a hint. Rap is not one of them. No, I'm too old. No, Look at too me. old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on another trip. This time it's a musical trip into Bavaria um, with Bioline. Thank you. 
This was Bioline. Uh, and if anybody was able to guess all these different music genres, they can come by and collect the CD for free. For free. For free. Just show up at the studio and, and we'll give you one. You, and you, and don't you don't have to stand in line. No, you don't have to stand in line, but I, I, I don't think you need this, this, this one. <laughs> I think you need a different one. <laughs> um, so who knows the name of the beer at the end of that video? And who knows what city that took place in? Edgar, you know where it took place? There's only one city in Bavaria. There's only one city. And there's in only one beer in that city. Oh, no, that's not true. There's, there's many, a lot of beer in Bavaria, but the city was... But HB stands for the bishop, the holy bishop. I, I don't know. Hof, Hof. Uh, you're close. Hofbrau. Hofbrau. <laughs> Hofbrau. And that, that literally means the place where we make beer because they were so drunk from drinking beer all night that they said, what are we going to call this place? And, well, let's we'll just call it the place where we make beer. Huffbrow. Um, Huffbrow was. I'm not going to translate that. No. So I get into problems <laughs> <laughs> with my Bavarian friends. <laughs> so, we, so now we've, we've taken our little picnic in the sky. We've flown over. We're, we're in Bavaria. We're stuck in Bavaria. Not such a bad place to be when you can have, you know, beer and pretzels and and all that stuff and go shopping in in munich which is that which is a great town to be in but so now we're going to take us take our viewers on another journey um malta mm, well, been there want, we've been islands we went okay P portugal portugal there. It's far. It's too far it's too far nice you know what it's it, we need to go someplace where we can drive mm, and we need some kind of hip people hip that people. like to fall in love. Oh, oh. What, what could that be? Oh, oh, well, this we have a book for Provence, but oh, I, I'm it's thinking getting it's getting it's getting closer. So but we don't have to drive so far. But we don't have to drive Let's so make far. Make a stop in Paris. Let's go to Paris. Au rive gauche. What do you think? <laughs>
So I think this was not Munich anymore. It no, was Paris. We're not in Munich. Yeah. J'adore Paris. Ich habe nicht allzu viel übersetzt, aber ich glaube, es ist schon klar geworden, dass der nächste Punkt unserer Reise diesmal Paris war. Uh, und die Bilder sind vielleicht nicht so ganz aktuell, weil denn ich hoffe, dass es derzeit nicht in Paris regnet. Aber uh, das, der Titel des Songs ist Arif Gorge am linken Ufer der Seine. I just love the way it ends with the rain. It just, it, it's a whole day in Paris. I had a friend of mine that would say, Paris is my mistress. I visit her whenever I can. Even in the rain. Even in the rain, especially in the rain. So, um, should we move to another place? Should we come yeah, back to Bavaria? there is one place I would recommend. And this is the place where I grew up. And yes, when I was kind of in high school, I was not so thrilled about the place. I thought it's just a tiny village, but it's come a long way. And the last time so I was in Regensburg, I really started to like it. Regensburg. I remember it's when you took us there and uh, I was like, wow, you were holding out on me. We walked across, you'll see the bridge in the video. We walked across the bridge and it was breathtakingly beautiful. And it's a UNESCO heritage site as well. So the next Ort, on den wir unsere musikalische Reise uh, weiterführen, ist Regensburg, mein Geburtsort. Und es war interessant für Ivy, nachdem wir dieses Video gemacht haben, hatte sie natürlich keine Vorstellung, wie die Stadt aussah. Und als sie dann das erste Mal in Regensburg war, hat sie all die Bilder aus diesem Video wiedergefunden. So this is a little um, autobiographical song that uh, Edgar wrote. It's got a great guitar solo and a really good organ solo in it as well. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, let me introduce our organ player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, but even better, there's a couple of pictures, there's several pictures of Edgar as a young man. So as a, as a, as young, a young, 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 there's young, young, and then there's young, and then there's hot young man, guitar player, which I can see why Thanks. Annette fell Thanks. in love with you. Thanks. Yeah. So, um, shall we play this? Yeah, let it rip. Okay, this one's called Blue Purple. Okay, this was Blue Purple, a song I wrote about two, three years ago. <coughs> and then we came up that it's actually pretty related to my time at high school. And that's why we put in all the Regensburg builders. So this lead heißt Blue Purple. And I have this ungefähr vor three years geschrieben. And as we then angefangen haben, videos dazu zu machen, wurde eigentlich immer klarer, wie sehr das Ganze mit Regensburg verknüpft ist und mit meiner Jugend und mit meiner Schulzeit. So um, again, this uh, these songs are available on the on the CD. And Co talk about hurry, old technology. hurry! The lines getting long out. Hurry in the lobby. <laughs> I can see they're starting to queue up. They're um, a meter and a half apart, and we're glad that you had this nice little time to go on a virtual trip to Europe because, like I said, this is worthless. <laughs> but and don't forget, please wear a mask and apply oh, 
sunscreen liberally because yeah. it's hot out there. Same product placement. We didn't uh, no, I didn't, show, I didn't time? show the front. <laughs> I didn't show the front. In any case, <clears throat> many thanks for staying with us, bearing with us in, on our musical journey. Ganz vielen Dank, dass ihr bis zum Ende da geblieben seid bei unserer musikalischen Reise. Und wir wünschen euch alles Gute. Bis zum nächsten Mal. See you later, man. Ciao. Tschüss. Thank you.